We're talking about millennials, we're actually t we're talking about the issues, and you're bringing it up and sort of delineating that. We're also talking about how we're reaching people. Yeah. I would say that your boss and my former boss, Rand Paul, is the person who has the message that's better and resonates with millennials, but also hire Absolutely. smart guys like you to get that message out there in the way that millennials are consuming news. What is it that you're doing? What yeah. is it that Rand's doing with the campaign that other Republicans are clueless about or haven't Thank done you. enough of? So, so Specifics. One, <laughs> one thing I definitely wanted to bring up is this concept of native advertising, being here at Ad Week, which is where you're essentially building your message within an ad without people realizing it's an ad. So this, this, next, this example that I'm going to say wasn't for Senator Paul, but it was for a client of mine who was against the Iran deal that just passed. So we, during, uh, during the first debate in Ohio, we were the first group, political group, to have a paid sponsored Snapchat filter. We had in one day in Ohio, in one day, 178,000 uses of that filter, which asked people, it was this arrow down and it had the circle, and people could take selfies or they could take a picture, whatever that they wanted, and it said, how I feel about the bad Iran deal. And they put whatever, whatever and however that they felt. I saw someone take a pile of horse, uh, take a pile of horse dung and they put that in there. <laughs> Somebody had sad faces, they put emojis. That is the future of advertising. That is the future is that native advertising. There's a company called Tabula, too, who, who owns ad space on a bunch of news websites. And you can actually create and build, and we did this around Senator Paul's announcement, you create articles that look like they're articles on those news websites. Mm. And through Tabula, you place them on those websites. BuzzFeed does this a lot. If you go to, if you go to BuzzFeed's homepage, it's sponsored content that looks very similar to the content that is natively on BuzzFeed. That's the future of advertising, not a 30-second TV ad of some stodgy politician with everything scripted, telling you exactly how, you know, where they are on some issue. And it's not because the content of that doesn't matter. It's because people won't sit and watch for 30 seconds that video when they can watch a cat gif. That's exactly why. Do you think that we may see the day where people can have, where ads can have comment sections? Absolutely. Absolutely. Engagement with ads is everything. And the, the non-political space is way ahead of the political space on this still. I mean, you saw last cycle Obama advertised in Xbox games and stuff like that, which I think was a waste of money. But still, that kind of new advertising, pushing the boundaries outside of normal Fox News and CNN, that's the future. And it's the engagement that excites people. It's of being course. able to comment, be interactive, and, and, and have their voices heard.